Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Chad Olmet with the National Weather Service in Topeka with an updated weather briefing for the potential of severe weather across parts of East Central Northeast Kansas later this afternoon into tonight. Well, some key points to uh, stay aware of. Severe storms are expected to redevelop this afternoon and there is an enhanced risk for tornadoes it does also exist across parts of Southeast Kansas and that includes areas at this point southeast of the Kansas Turnpike mainly after 3 p.m. and the further southeast you go the the greater the risk for tornadoes is. There's a large hail risk across much of the remainder of the area as well as additional severe weather moves in later this afternoon and tonight. Stay aware of the weather this afternoon and this evening that's the the, the main message we want to pass along. There is a moderate risk of severe weather along and southeast of uh, roughly Interstate 35, and you can see that area, generally speaking, shown in red here. This, this area has the greatest risk for large hail and tornadoes. However, we do expect a warm front to move towards a position that's going to be very close from Emporia towards Lawrence, just southeast of Topeka. And it, depending on how far north that warm front gets, that's going to determine what areas are at risk for uh, tornadoes as well later this afternoon and to, into this evening as well. Here is the, the course image for the moderate risk area from the Storm Prediction Center as of this morning and you can see roughly along and south of I-35 uh, that area again has the greatest risk for large hail and tornadoes. The tornado outlook, the hatched area indicates the potential, the environmental conditions are there for the potential for strong tornadoes, EF2s are greater uh, potentially in that hatched area and you can see that's roughly along and southeast of the Kansas Turnpike. The greater probabilities of that occurring uh, at this point staying across southeast Kansas through Oklahoma. There's still some uncertainty uh, as to how far northwest this warm front is going to get this afternoon and, and that's the main point as well that we want to convey. There is uncertainty in how far north and west that warm front gets. Uh, if it does get to Topeka, certainly areas along and southeast of that turnpike are, are going to be at a, a greater risk for additional severe weather in, in the form of tornadoes as well. The large hail risk uh, essentially in the red area, the purple area, that's the, the area where we're looking at uh, 30 to 45 percent uh, chances of one inch hail or greater within a couple, about 25 miles. Essentially anything certainly in the red, the purple areas and the hatched area even talks about the, the enhanced potential for baseball sized hail or larger uh, in that area. And so again, the further south and east you go, the, the worse the, the weather conditions are going to get uh, this afternoon and into this evening. The timing at this point, the warm front's going to move towards the Kansas Turnpike this afternoon. And severe storms are expected to redevelop this afternoon across the area, generally after 2 to 3 o'clock. The greatest risk for severe storms, including a tornado threat, appears to be in the 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. time frame. And that's going to be, as I mentioned, mainly southeast of the Kansas Turnpike. The storms are going to continue overnight, and that's another issue too. Heavy rains are expected with potentially in excess of two or three inches possible, especially over east central Kansas uh, after, after midnight. Impacts large hail across much of the area with the storms this afternoon. Tornado risk mainly confined to the Kansas Turnpike and areas southeast. The further southeast to go, the greater the risk for tornadoes. Storms will continue overnight. Heavy rains, as I mentioned, in excess of two or three inches possible. Maybe some localized flooding. Haven't had that in a long time, but it uh, looks like it could occur tonight. Stay aware of the weather this afternoon, especially if you live southeast of the Kansas Turnpike. Um, the, the, the risk for severe weather is going to increase as the afternoon and evening wears on. So that's it, the weather briefing from the National Weather Service in Topeka.